Okay, here we have your basic ro rocket stove. Um, they're all made from recyclable materials, or reusable, should I say. Um, and these are old um, vegetable oil cooking cans, so we've just used the oil in the camps already. Then instead of you know throwing them away to landfill, we can actually make a good use of them. Okay, the basic structure. I can show you this, which is a kind of half-made one. You have the that you have two. The the structure is two vegetable cooking oil pots. This is the base, and you cut a hole in there. Put a flue pipe through there, and then another one down on top. And you put this in on top there, and that's just you know to keep everything held in to keep the the heat from dissipating. Sure. And when it comes out, it's really really efficient. You know, all the heat comes up and just from basic physics because uh, the heat in there just like burns and because it's in a sealed container there's very high reflectivity so um, and the, the only place that burning is happening is that in that tube yeah in the bottom bit yeah and yeah. Uh, but it's a sealed contained area so um, reflected heat radiation will just be bouncing around inside that tube like crazy um, amplifying the heating effect so it's really efficient and then all that heat where does it go well it goes upwards because air rises it's expanding massively possibly two or three times its original volume and then so it's getting a lot lighter cu coming up here and then uh, going around the outside of this stove and therefore drawing more air inwards uh, so it is actually a really effective uh, mechanism people could say you know, we're meant to be eco protesters. Why are you burning wood? Well, in fact, wood uh, on this scale can be a renewable. England, in fact, used to uh, have a very uh, big coppicing community and all the small woods. Coppices were a, like a backbone of the, so of the society. They, they grew uh, like five to 10, 15 year co uh, hazel coppices, which grow very quickly and then chop them down to the ground which is why it's called coppicing so you have uh -huh. you, you cut the roots back down and the sti and people are starting to do this process again uh, and then cut it all down turn it into charcoal first which is obviously what we're not doing we're just you know using dried out wood and then burn it and then start the process again and if you have a cyclical system of that you can see how uh, it can be an actually a really effective renewable energy source